Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. As you know that we are discussing the movement property of languages and specifically we are dealing with the English language. And in this video, I am going to further move toward the second type of movement that is called the A bar movement. And this is the second type of movement. And for moving toward our topic, I want to tell you all the viewers that if you are new in our channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and linguistics. And let's see our data. What our data is telling us that how we can originate, how we can account for the A bar movement. This is our example. Which car did the man make? This is our sentence and this is our fully grammatical sentence. And in this video, I will tell you that how this which car how this which car has moved from this place and what is the actual position of this whole phrase. This is our point in this video. First of all, we should know that what is the structure of our sentence. And this is our universal structure of the language, specifically the English language. And as you know that, first layer is the VP layer, then the IP layer, and the last one is the CP layer. The three layer perform the different function when we construct the sentences and natural languages and see first this is the verb make this takes the dp as a complement and this is the position of the bar position because this is the bar nodes of the v and at this position we have the one item that is which car and then V introduces its specified position and at this position we have the agent row that is the man the man that is constructing that is making the car and after that we have completed our one thematic structure and in this structure all the roles have been assigned to the DP but what is remaining in this structure and what is the problem with this structure we have already discussed that here is the argument position and this is the this DP requires some case and this head doesn't have any case position and if we introduce the IP the head the property of this IP is it bears the case, the nominative case, and it bears the EPP feature. For EPP requirement, this argument position moves from this place to that place and it leaves at the back position the trace. Mean the base position of this is this and it inserts at this place. Both are the pieces of the argument position. And then we have the head word, the I had, that is the did, the past tense. And if we want to construct the interrogative sentence, we have, we have to regulate the head, the head of every item. Because head can be strong, head can be weak in the languages. And in English language, we have the weak head this is the weak head this did not trigger any lower head nor any upper head rather it moved from the lower position or the upper position for marking the displacement property of the language and if we want to construct the positive sentence this head move from this place and attaches to the verb like the ed and the null past tense this will make this verb the past tense verb and this is the head to head movement because this is also the head position and this is also the head position 
and in this diagram we have also the admission that is the C head position here C has the two feature that is the Q feature the second is the EPP feature and the third one is C is the strong head C triggers the lower head and takes the lower head at its at its head position and if we want to construct the introductive sentence this head C triggers the lower head and takes this head at its head position and this is called the head to head movement and our sentence will be will not be grammatical even what is the problem because we have the one the a bar position in this a bar position we have the problem because English language language requires that every question word every strong word must be at the fronting position of the CP and this C had bears the Q feature and for the Q feature this had search all the domain within the derivation and if this head finds any Q word within the, the derivation and it triggers this Q word and takes this at its specified position and in this way this is the Q word and this is moving from this place to that place and this is the A bar movement because this is the A bar node and this is also the A bar node because this is the this is the sister of the head and this is also the sister of the head if we remove this this place we can say that this is the sister and this is also the sister and you see these are the similar position and this phrase is moving from this place to that place and in this way we can construct a fully grammatical sentence and this type of movement is called the a bar movement and if you are new on our channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates about language and linguistics thank you very much